Mohammed Abdeslam Ahmed and Mustafa Driss Mohammed were killed in a collision outside of British Gibraltar territorial waters after an RGP vessel pursued their rib in the early hours of March 8, 2020. A verdict of unlawful killing means that the jury believe the RGP breached a duty of care to the crew of the rib and that death was a reasonably foreseeable consequence of the police boat's actions. The jury also had to be satisfied that the actions of Officer 1, the coxswain, contributed significantly to the deaths of the two men, believing his actions were grossly negligent and amount to the crime of manslaughter. The inquest has been emotionally charged from beginning to end. Details from the night of the collision have been heard multiple times from various sources and scrutinised at length by the coroner and by lawyers. Evidently, those aboard both vessels that night suffered as a result of what happened, but none more so, of course, than Mr. Ahmed and Mr. Mohammed, who were both killed. The family of the deceased have endured a challenging fortnight, struggling at times as they heard evidence and having to leave the courtroom on more than one occasion. Today, the coroner, Charles Bito, extended his condolences. He thanked them, the jury and all parties involved in the inquest, for their contributions. The jury returned its findings a little after two o'clock this afternoon, along with a list of recommendations for the RGP, as well as protocol they believe should be adhered to during operations at sea. On the list, the jury recommended that police should not act autonomously when out at sea. They said crew on police vessels should wear body cameras and that patrolling vessels should be required to record all data of their movements. The jurors called for night vision cameras on board, and also recommended that markers be used to clearly delineate the perimeters of British Gibraltar territorial waters. Over the course of the inquest, Christopher Finch has represented the interests of the deceased. His position has been that the crew aboard the Sir John Chapel, the police vessel, was at fault in the collision. Charles Bonfante, representing the police officers, maintained throughout that they believed they were in Gibraltar waters and the collision was an accident that resulted from the regular fulfilment of their duties. Neil Gosta represented the RGP. It was the RGP's position that it did not believe the evidence provided by the officers. This inquest has not ascribed criminal culpability. The jury was engaged in a fact-finding exercise regarding the circumstances and details of the collision following eight days of evidence. These facts have now been established.